I wanted to very quickly kind of show you how you can put together a movie poster using the templates I've created and images that you found online um, so that, you know, maybe this doesn't look like such a scary thing because it shouldn't be a scary thing. So I'm opening up the template that I created for Keynote and you can see, yeah, there's not a whole lot there. The important thing is that it's the right shape that we want. And it has these boxes that we can double click on to add the titles or the names of the director and so forth. But also anytime we want, we can also just press this text button and we can add another one, another text box that is. So really quickly, I'm just gonna double click on that and I'm gonna make this one for a girl walks home alone at night, okay? And I'm just, I'm not sure, I'll think of a tagline later. So I'm just gonna say tagline here. And I can't remember the director's name. So I'm gonna say directed by X, 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 X. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty bad about how plain this looks. I need to get an image in here quickly and make this thing start looking better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to insert, choose, and I'm gonna find an image that I downloaded. And let's see, I kept my images here. Let's see, let's take, I'm gonna take that one. And now it's inserted my image. And of course it doesn't fit the whole thing and I don't want the whole thing. So I'm gonna resize it. I'm gonna grab the corner and make it a lot bigger. Stick it over here. And that's fine with me. I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, but I need to send that thing so that it isn't covering up all of my text. So I click off here and I can send that back. And now, of course, my problem is that uh, my text is black and it doesn't fit on here. So I need to change the color. So I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna change it to, let's make it red. And in fact, I like this red and black. I want to make the background red. So I can go over here and I can look at my slide layout and where it says background. I can click on that. I'll make that red too. All right, so now I've got this red background. I got red text and I got my image. I can play around with that stuff. Um, I don't know what happened to my title. It disappeared. It must have gotten lost back there. So I'm just going to write it again. That is a really boring looking font. So I want to format my font, something more interesting. What else do I have here? Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Let's see what that looks like. A girl walks home alone at night. That's pretty crazy looking. So uh, one of the things you're gonna do when you're finished is you're gonna export your poster as a PDF. That's important because we all have various different fonts on our computers. And when you save it as a PDF, that's gonna lock in all that material um, so it looks the same on, on everybody's computer. So I know that probably none of you have this weird font I just used. But as long as I save it as a PDF, you'll get to see the poster just like I made it. All right. And I still don't wanna write the tagline. One of the things that is usually a good uh, guideline in making a poster or doing some kind of design work is that you don't want to use more than two different fonts because then it just gets like kind of busy and ugly so I'm gonna leave this one plain um, although I might change it to a different kind of plane like maybe I want to do it um, it's Helvetica now I'm gonna change it to Arial not a big difference but a little bit of one Okay, so I've got my title starting to get this laid out a little bit better. Um, I could, if I wanted to, put some more text. Like I have to get uh, a quote from some, some critic. So if I wanted to, um, I, I have instructions on how you can find that, but I'm just going to, for the sake of doing this demonstration, uh, make something up. So I don't have a box down there. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this text button and that gives me a little box I can put down here and now I can write the quote. The greatest female vampire movie I've seen this year. Ethan. Now um, you are supposed to find more reputable critics but again I'm just making this up. All right. Uh, so this, you know, I've just done this while talking to you and not being very careful. Um, and I've made it this far. And just with a little bit more work, you can have something that looks even better. 